This video is a walkthrough installing and running a demo of FreeRTOS. We'll set up a development environment and then go over some of the pieces and parts of FreeRTOS. For the demo, we'll use a Win32 port that is built and executed in Visual Studio. Starting off, you'll want to download the FreeRTOS source package and download the community edition of Visual Studio. The FreeRTOS source code is available at freertos.org. On the left hand side, there's a link for download source. Click that and you'll get a page with the download link from SourceForge. After a short wait, the download should begin. Extract the source code to a working directory. Next, we'll set up a build environment using the Community Edition of Visual Studio 2017. If you already have this installed and can build Win32 applications, you should be good to go. Back to the browser, go to visualstudio.com. Look for a link to download for Windows and select Community 2017. Download and then execute the installer. The bulk download of the tools and the SDK happen during installation. During installation, be sure to select C, C++ tools. So once we're done downloading, we'll go to fire up Visual Studio and do some basic setup. Uh, we'll go to our workspace. And under free RTOS, there's a demo directory and a list of all the ports that have demonstrations. We'll go down to the Win32 MSVC and fire up the solution. So when we do the solution, it'll ask us to, we'll import it and we'll have a couple questions. I just accepted the default. So to start off, we're gonna look at the main.c file. This demo can run two different demonstrations. We're going to do the blinky demo. And what we need to do is set this to fine. It controls which demo we're running. So if we scroll down, this this pound define main create simple blinky demo only. We'll set that to one and save it. And then let's build. Once built, we can load, uh, launch it with a local Windows debugger, and we'll let it run for a bit. And you see this message received from task. What we'll do in a second is go over the demo. And I punch the key back, and we can see this message received from software timer. And that'll make sense here in just a second. So going back to the source, our main blinky.c. Uh, the documentation, the code is documented really well. Uh, I'll briefly explain kind of what it does. We have uh, two tasks here that are uh, created in uh, the main Blinky. We have a receive task and a transmit task. And we also have this timer. And in the main, we create those elements and we start the scheduler. So in the transmit task, we wait for some time and then, then send a message. And in the receive task, we are waiting, receiving messages, and then we're figuring out if we got it from the timer or if we got it from our uh, transmit task. 
what we're doing here is consuming um, key presses and we'll use that to, to start our timer task or our timer. And you see the timer sends a different value. Let's run it again and I'll push the button and we should see a message from the timer task. So this demo shows kind of the creation of tasks, um, some intertask communication using the um, shows some intertask communication using a message queue, uh, as well as different types of of running elements.